Meantime, the protest on the campus of George Washington University now enters its 12th day and tensions on campus are growing. University officials now say the protests have become potentially dangerous while demonstrators say they are being threatened. Joy Wang is back out live this morning. Enjoy a few developments over the weekend. Yeah, that's right. University officials calling on tighter law enforcement, more police presence here on campus. But I was walking around this area and I haven't seen that to be the case. In fact, all I've noticed so far when it comes to a difference compared to what was happening when I was here more than a week ago was the fact that we are seeing those police lights continuing to be on throughout the day and students on campus telling me that that has been the case for a little bit of time now. And so right now you are seeing that encampment again, more students waking up this morning compared to when we first saw you guys here about an hour ago and protesters say they will not be moving responding to the university president's statement, which we'll get to in a moment. First, though, hear from a student an organizer in response. We are going to stay here as long as it takes for the university to divest from genocide. It almost just seems as if all she's doing is trying to scare us and use these scare tactics by sending out these really threatening emails when in reality no action has been taken. Meanwhile, George Washington University President Ellen Granberg said in a statement over the weekend, quote, as a university, we are not equipped to single handedly manage an unprecedented situation such as this, something organizers claim speaks to the size of what they've created on campus. President Granberg's statements also went on to say in part, quote, when unlawful activities go beyond these limits, we must rely on the support and experience of the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department. At this time, the district is in communication with the university and the D.C. Metropolitan Police are providing an increased security presence on and around University Yard. Now, student organizer tells 7 News that extra MPD presence is seen as a threat, but they won't be leaving with many demonstrators asking President Granberg to come to the encampment herself. Over the weekend, demonstrators put a Palestinian flag at the entrance of the encampment. And I will say just about 10 seconds ago, we did start to see that university presence when it comes to university police officers actually walking around the encampment. 7 News also asked President Granberg if she plans on coming to encampment, but we have not gotten a response from her yet. Meanwhile, of course, later on this week, starting on Wednesday, university officials expected to testify, other leaders expected to testify at the House Committee to talk about the response to what is happening here on this campus. And of course, stick with us on air and online for the very latest. Live here at George Washington University, Joy Wang, 7 News.